Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be, as you can see, a Halloween tutorial. Um, wanted to create something that would be around, you know, anyone's budget. So I went to, I think, Kmart and I found this little Fantastic Matters by Wet n Wild. And it's like this little quad here. It brings other stuff here. But it brings this little palette and it shows you, you know, how to create this little wolf. So that kind of gave me an inspiration. I only use the glitter on this palette, but everything else is pretty much affordable. Um, and this is the outcome of the look. is a sexy wolf um, Halloween makeup tutorial. And this is how it came out. I love the way it came out. This is a little bit something different to me I'm not very creative so this was a much of a challenge for me so I hope you guys enjoy this sexy wolf um, Halloween makeup tutorial and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you haven't already so you can get notifications of my future videos and like I said if you want to know how to recreate this sexy wolf um, Halloween makeup tutorial then let's get to it so starting off I'm gonna take my Too Faced Hangover RX face primer and I'm going to prime my face with that I'm gonna apply it all over my face and try to work it the primer towards the entire of my face because today I felt a little bit too dry I wanted to go in with a full coverage foundation so I picked up the Born This Way from Too Faced and I'm in shade light beige, pat that is behind my hand, and just dotted it all over my face. And after my foundation is applied, I picked up the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. And this one is in shade Light Warm. And I basically od putting a lot of concealer under my eyes. But basically, I just put it where I usually conceal and brighten. And that's basically under my eyes. A little bit of my cupid's bow in the middle of my nose and in my, fore in my forehead. And I just picked up my... Real Technique sponge and just started blending that out. After that, to set my concealer, I took my Airsprom translucent face powder and picked up the Morphe E45 brush, one of the brushes I love to bake my face with. And I just picked up a little bit of that powder and started baking my entire face towards my lid. Just because I wanted my eyelid to be as smooth as possible. So when I apply those shadows, it actually will apply nicely and not crease. Because I am oily, my eyelids tend to crease a lot when I put eyeshadow up there. So basically that's what I'm doing. I'm basically baking everywhere where I set that concealer. So while that powder is baking, I'm going to pick up the LA Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze, and I'm basically going to bronze the shit out of my face. Well, I'm actually gonna contour with it. I'm going to put it where I want my contour to mostly stand out. I want my face to look very contoured, and besides that, bronzed, because, I mean, how can a wolf not have a contour face, right? <laughs> so I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to just start blending that concealer away.
After that, I'm going to pick up a big fluffy brush, and this one is from Ali and Olivia, and I'm just going to remove the baking out of my face, and then I'm going to use my middle finger just to blend out a little bit of that harsh contour I have in my nose. After that, I picked up the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer and Sun Kiss, and I basically used my crown brush that I got in my Ipsy bag, and just going to warm up my face a little bit more. I just want my face to look bronzed enough. I wanted to put some colors on my cheeks, so I took this palette that I got a little while ago, and it's from Beauty Treats. It's a matte blush palette, and I picked up the palest pink, um, just to give my cheeks a little bit of flush of, you can say, color. So I picked up the same brush and just applied a little bit of that blush in the apples of my cheeks. Like I said, just to give my face a little bit of color. Then I took a little bit of, I took a stippling brush. That one is from, I think, Wet n Wild. And I'm just blending everything out just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Then I took the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette and I took that warmer shade in the right, you can say. And I picked up my Morphe E55 brush. And I basically, like I said, wanted a sharp contour. So I kind of placed it where I wanted to look more sharp. So it's more from the back of the hairline towards the middle of the cheek. Not really dragging it downwards. Just stopping right in the middle of the cheeks. And then after I placed it where I want it, I kind of like... You can say blend it downwards just so that line don't look as harsh. Then took the same Morphe E55 brush and the same contour shade that I use for my cheeks to set the nose contour. And I love this brush for that. It has short, long hairs, you can say, and it kind of helps kind of perfect the nose contour. So that's what I'm doing now. Then I picked up this Neutral Nubia palette by Jovia. And I took those the top, you can say, shades up there. One is more brownish, the other one is more orangey. Then I took the Bond and Height blending brush. And I applied that in my crease as a transition color. Then I'm taking one of my favorite crease brushes and it's the Morphe M433 brush. And I took the bottom, the third row, second brownish shade, and I'm basically placing it in the outer V, so the outer part of my eye, doing it in circular motions and then dragging the rest of the product towards the front of the lid. So it can give my eyes a little bit more of a warmness warmthness and definition so as you can see I'm patting it in the outer V doing circular motions and then afterwards blending it inwards towards the eye so after everything is nice and blended I'm going to take an elf this one doesn't say name but it's an elf um, eyeshadow brush and I'm going to place from the second row all the way towards the right the, um, the golden shade and I'm applying that all over the lid it's a beautiful copper, bronzed, shimmery eyeshadow. So that's what I'm placing all over my lid. After that, I'm going to go back in with my N433 brush from Morphe and just taking that same brownish chocolate color and just touching up, making sure that my outer V and crease is nice and dark and blended. That's the look that I'm going for. So I'm making sure everything is nice and blended. So now I'm going to go in with some liquid liner. I took the NYX matte liquid liner and I decided to do a little wing liner just to give the look a little of an oomph. So that's what I'm doing now.
Then after that, I picked up the NYX gel liner in pitch black. And I had the hardest time taking out the cap from this liner. Like, it was insane. And then all of a sudden, it just decided to pop out. But anyways, I used this for my waterline just to darken it up a little bit. And I was going to end up smudging it out with um, a black eyeshadow. So that's what I'm doing now. Just applying this in my waterline. Then I went back in with that Juvia um, palette that I used before for my lid. And I took that black eyeshadow all the way in the third row. And I was, you can see, looking for a brush to blend it out. But the brush that I use is for Bond and Hide and is a flat liner brush. So basically, I just wanted to look a little bit more smoked out and a little bit more blended. So I took the eye, black eyeshadow and just started smudging it a little bit towards down the bottom lash line. Then I took a e.l.f. Um, brush. They don't have names on it, but don't worry. I'll leave down every brush and product I use down in the description box below. But I basically use the same colors I put on my lid and started blending them out and my bottom lash line. So it can look nice and smoky and can pair up with the lid color. So that's what I'm doing now. So after that, I took my liner, the same liner that I put the NYX on liquid liner. And what I did is I went as close as possible into like my tear duct corner and kind of dragged it as like a line. Just so my eyes can look a little wider and can look a little bit more cat eye, you can say. So that's what I'm doing. I'm actually just making a line towards like my tear duct straight down with the liquid liner. Then I took my Better Than Sex mascara and just did a couple of coat, coats of mascara on my top and bottom lashes, just prepping them for falsies. Then use these V Lux by MV called Ella. Love these lashes. So now I'm just doing my regular eyebrow routine, taking my Milani um brow pod and zero four brunette and taking a kiss um brow duo, you can say uh, brush, and just doing my regular eyebrow routine now that my brows are done I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow wiz and I started using this trying to mimic um you can say wolf hair just dragging it up um just not putting so much pressure to the end of the brow wiz just flaking it up slowly just mimicking hairs. I started with this because it was lighter and then little by little I would just start you know making it more darker and intense. Then I went back in with that NYX gel liner in black, and I tried finding my brown one, but I couldn't, so 
I basically took it <clears throat> and placed it right on top of those mimic hairs that I use with the Anastasia Brow Wiz just to darken it up more at the root on the bottom, not really dragging it upwards, just so it can look a little bit more darker and a little bit more, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit more defined. If I was you guys, I would have just used like a paint or a waxy type of um, paint just to mimic those hairs. I think it would have looked a little bit better, but I didn't have that in hand. So I took the same um, liner and started drawing out the, you can say, whiskers of the wolf. I started slowly um, just doing the lines and then little by little I'll just start darkening it up because I really didn't know where I wanted to place them at so that's why I did them lighter so in case if the other side was a little bit more different I was able just to wipe it off and start all over so always start off with a lighter hand then a darker because it's better to start all over with a lighter hand than a darker one because I mean it would just make the job a little easier Then I went back in with the Juvia's palette and I took that black shadow and that flat liner brush that I used earlier for my waterline and I just started darking up the lines and kind of making a shadow under it just so it can actually look a little bit more of a dimension, it can have a little bit more of a dimension, it can look a little bit more um, feathered out so that's what I was looking for. Then I went in with that palette that I showed in the beginning, that Wet n Wild palette. I took that gold and a flat brush. It's like an eyeshadow brush and it's glittery. So I start placing that in the center of, not in the center, but in the middle of each line. Just so it can give a little bit of a glow. And this is a sexy wolf makeup tutorial. So what would it be without glitter, right? So basically that's what I'm doing just to give it a little bit of a sassy look. I'm placing the glitter right in between each line. Glitter. Then I took a little bit of that glitter and started placing it a little bit towards like the mimic hairs that I did on top of my eyebrows. But just so I can give a little bit more, like I said, of a oomph. So I can look a little bit glowy and nice. And what's life without glitter, right? Then I took a NYX lip liner in black and I started lining my lips. Um, I didn't really know what color I wanted to actually put on my lips. I did actually took, <clears throat> sorry, took a picture of the previous look that I did. It was an exact one, but this time I wanted to make it a little bit more darker, have a, a lip a little bit more darker. So that's what I kind of improvised by looking with the old picture to see what I wanted to make different or actually leave it that way. So I wanted a darker lip. So I started lining my lips and just shading in the outer parts of my lips just to can it could give a little bit more of a dimension and more of, you can say, ombre look. So I was undecided. I didn't know if I wanted to go in with a dark <clears throat> red lip or a darker, you say, plummy lips so I chose the Milani matte fearless in 70 it has like a purple dark purple undertone so it went perfect with this look so that's with what I went with So 
So that's how it looks with that color. Love the way it came out. Kind of went with the whole concept wolf look. So I went in with the Kathy and Lights Highlight Palette collab with Makeup Geek. And I think I took the darkest shade. If I'm not mistaken, yes, I did. I went in with the darkest highlight shade. And I took a, uh, what is this? A e.l.f. highlighting brush. And what is not a look that's not done with highlight? I mean, come on. So I applied highlight and my cupid's bow and the highest points of my cheeks and the bridge of my nose and all those good places just so it can look nice and glowy. You can totally skip this step. It's not really necessary because you did, I did apply that glitter, but I just wanted to give my face a little bit more of a glow. So now for the hair, I did curly it the night before. So I just took a comb and started um, teasing the back parts of my hair just so it can look a little bit messy. I want it to look messy. That was the whole concept. So I took pieces of the front and back of the hair and started teasing it so it can look nice and you can say voluminous and crazy at the same time. And I love the way it came out. It came out beautiful. And this is the outcome of the look. I had so much fun recreating this look for you guys. I am not very creative, so I actually do give myself a big pat on the back. It has a nice oomph and sexy look to it. So if you decide to recreate this look, don't forget to tag me on it. I will leave down my social media down in the description box below don't forget to check that out and please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe on your way out and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys on my next video bye